13 year old Ryan is always going to have a bit of a soft spot for driving a blue Subaru. This is a new architecture from the last WRX. Does it feel different? We're out here in Thermal, California at the Thermal Club in the middle of the desert. Not exactly the 2022 Subaru WRX's natural habitat. But I'm gonna get in first and then racing driver Ryan Lewis is here to help us find out whether this is the ultimate all year round everywhere enthusiast daily. All right, Mac, what are we driving? All right, so this is the 2022 Subaru WRX. As we all know, sort of the hotted up version of the Impreza, right? In name only though, right? Yeah, more or less, and now not even that. The new one, they say, shares no body panels with the Impreza, which has made it a little controversial. It's, it's mechanical, it's fun, it's approachable. But this isn't, you know, a sports car competitor. That's, they've never claimed it to be that, you know? You could get away with driving this every day. I mean, how was it in traffic in LA? Not too bad? Not bad at all, especially for the manual. This thing is pretty easy to drive. It's easy to heel toe, it's easy. Everything is light and direct and engaging. You know, and on the road, it's just, it's pretty easy to, you know, coast at 70 miles per hour and not really think about it too much. Uh, which is very nice, but that ties into, you know, some of the weirdness of this car of like, they offer this with a CVT. <laughs> like, who, oh, okay. who, who buys this? <laughs> like, uh, who, who goes for this car and wants a continuously variable transmission? Like that's, and that's what you need to option to get the adaptive suspension. You can't get the adaptive suspension unless oh, you get- right. it's bundled that, in, huh? Yeah, that like premium trim car. Right, you're not gonna be reenacting some of Colin McRae's greatest hits by any means, uh, but it's fun to imagine it at least, right? Right, well, to see what it is capable of, maybe we should switch seats. <laughs> Go for it. So now that we're properly moving, we can talk about how this car feels. Now, this is a new architecture from the last uh, WRX. It's the same architecture that underpins a lot of the Subarus now, except for the BRZ. So with that big change, does it feel different? Not really. No, I mean, it's, you know, it feels like a WRX. So, you know, bonus points to Subaru for consistency in the product. There's a little bit more poise, for sure. A little bit more balance, I think. I could maybe convince myself that it turns in a little bit better mid-corner off the gas. But it's, yeah, it's got that distinctly WRX kind of feel to it, you know? I don't think anyone who owns a current WRX and then buys this one is going to be disappointed getting in it, right? It's huh. different variations of the same flavor palette. Yeah, absolutely. And it's not really any quicker as far as, we, there's more mid-range, but actual power has only changed. We gained three horsepower from 268 to 271. It's not supposed to be doing anything utterly incredible. It's very predictable. You know, you can smash some curbs if you want and it doesn't do anything, you know. Yeah, it's, it's fine. fine. I have a few issues. The steering, like the previous car, it's still too light. I don't get enough feeling for what's really going on. When it starts to weight up, it feels like the front of the car's gonna start to weight up, but that doesn't really translate to what's happening through the wheel. I don't really get a good feeling. It's just a bit too nerfed still. Is it going to outcorner a Miata? Is it gonna feel as alive as, let's say, an Elantra of N or something? Let's we'll see. What do you think? Woo! <laughs> nah, well, I mean, it is kind of mad, isn't it? What is this car doing? Like, who is it for? It does everything pretty good, right? Yes. It's not set in the world of light as being the most exciting thing out there, but if you have a use case for a car that 
you're in the snow, you're in the, you know, the wet more than occasionally, and you want something that's kind of fun to drive, yeah. this is probably the, uh, the car for you. Right, like to me, the WRX is the all year everything car. If you just want a car that when your friend calls and says, hey, we're doing this cool thing, you can show up and you know you're gonna have a good time, this is the car, right? For me, 13 year old Ryan is always gonna have a bit of a soft spot for driving a blue Subaru. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I've done a bit of rallying in my time, but that was generally on grass into a tire wall. So, <laughs> yep. a bit different. More of a lawn mowing service. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So, Ryan, what do you think? I mean, it does what it says on the tin, right? Absolutely, I think if you want one car for all year, all weather, all places, for 30 grand, this is kind of the car. You know, for where I live, in the Midwest, if I was gonna pick between the SI or the Elantra, or that sort of price bracket, it's gonna be this car, probably. Mm -hmm.